So what is the route sarcoma virus capsid made of? It's made up of hexamers and centimers. It has an SCNC domain, a C terminal domain, and an N terminal domain. And it also has a uh, small protein named B10. And this is a uh, lattice protein of the route sarcoma virus capsid. So basically, uh, take a soccer ball, take a wedge out of the soccer ball, analyze the layer. That's what it is. Focusing on pole gene, it's responsible for enzymatic activity. Uh, it has RNase H. RNase H degrades RNA, reverse transcriptase, uh, turns that single copy of RNA into DNA, which becomes a provirus, integrates, integrates that provirus into the host uh, genome or the cell genome. Um, focusing on the M gene, it encodes uh, glycoproteins. Uh, Ralph sarcoma virus has uh, GP37, which stands for the TM stands for transmembrane. Has a GP85, which stands for surface, and these are the glycoproteins on my Ralph sarcoma virus. Um, focusing on the SARC gene, the SARC gene is a oncogene, um, V SARC because of the virus, and it's C SARC in other cells because vertebrates have the SARC gene as well. Um, SARC stands for sarcoma, by the way. It's a tyrosine kinase, which makes, basically means that it uh, phosphorylates tyrosine. And phosphorylation of tyrosine is important for cellular signaling. I, I'm pretty sure it makes cells over-divide and making more cells available for viral infection. So, SARC gene transforms my cells. Well, not my cells, but Start being transformed by cells. That, that's, what, that's what's transforming them, making them too, uh, cancerous. And uh, PP60 SARC is what they call the phosphotyrosine. And this is just a structure of the phosphotyrosine here. Um, natural host, the Plymouth Rock chickens, like I said, RSV affects spindle cells. It causes fibrosarcoma. Okay, so what cell receptor does my virus have affinity for? Low density lipoprotein receptors uh, for fusion. It's a mu mu mosaic protein. has 839 amino acids. And this is just a picture. This is the first chicken that Ralph, Peyton Ralph used in his lab. Well, a lady brought the chicken to his lab. And this is how it, this is what it looks like. And this is a more up to date picture of the Ralph sarcoma virus. I'm sorry, the fibrosarcoma in the chicken. So, not much has changed. This is an excellent picture of how my virus infects the cell. Um, my virus infects the cell right here through a fusion. It fuses with the cellular membrane. Uh, the capsid comes out, it's degraded, and then transcription occurs. Here you have the gag pole and M and the SAR gene. Sorry, my shaky hands. Uh, goes in the nucleus, you know, does its work, comes out, it's translated. SAR gene is produced here. I'm guessing it's telling the cell to divide. Um, you have the capsid protein, you have the reverse, uh, reverse transcriptase, and you have the proteins, and eventually it bites off. Um, all my references are, all of my pictures are at the side, so if anybody wants to see them, you can ask me. Okay, so special features of this replication. Uh, RSV does not require a SARC gene to carry out this replication. All requires SARC for transforming cells. Um, it has a, uh, okay, so one journal that I read, they were able to uh, find another virus, and this virus was important for creating a infectious protein host. So without without RAV, which stands for Ralph associated virus, an infectious host can't be made. Um, ASLV and RSV are similar. The reason why I said that is because I think I read somewhere where he said both of the viruses can be in the same chicken, but I didn't really have like that much time to really get into it. But so the difference between ASLV and RSV is that RSV Ralph sarcoma virus has a SARC gene, and ASLV does not have a SARC gene, is what, else, what I read. Um, so, inhibition of the Ralph sarcoma virus. How do we stop the Ralph sarcoma virus? Um, oh, little word, uh, oligodeoxynucleotides, which is a, a trizacomer. It's a small, short sequence of DNA. Um, it's complementary to RSV as a 3' and 5' reiterated terminal sequences of 35 srna um, It has block 3' prime and 5' prime hydroxyl termini. I'm going to put something on here real quick. Um, 
So oligodeoxynucleotides, uh, using chick embryo fibroblast tissue cultures infected with the Ralph sarcoma virus. They added oxy, I mean, oligodeoxynucleotides. They hybridized at the three prime and five prime regions, disrupting uh, circularization of the proviral DNA intermediate and the initiation of translation. So that's how you turn it off. Zoonosis. Uh, zoonosis basically means uh, a disease that can be that can affect an animal. I'm sorry, a disease that can be passed from animal to human. And uh, I couldn't find any information on that. Um, RSV can affect monkeys and primates, so from an evolutionary standpoint, I guess, we're supposed to be monkeys, I guess. But, I don't know. Okay, opinion. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Ralph, uh, Peyton Ralph, we're able to diagnose cancer and know that it has a viral physiology. Ominous to me, thank you guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.